a new and different perspective every week on LEGO sets, news, media, and more, you're listening to the BCC Podcast. Today is Sunday, June 14th of 2020, and you're listening to episode 234 of the BCC Podcast. I'm LQ, and joining me today is Leo. I am proud of myself today. For today, I convinced IDS to finally release Callan's hit music tracks once more on his channel. Are we really going to go into that? I hope he follows through. I, with it. Liam explicitly said, you guys don't have to make your intros long, you know? This is the end of my intro. <laughs> oh, dang it. And Maluris? It's Moto Moto, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so nice to say it's twice, you know. <laughs> I still don't know what that's from. Well, Ford. We'll, we'll after the podcast. I recently got Shovel Knight. It uh... is kind of hard because I suck at video games, and the ice level is dumb, and I hate it. Can we also say Ford. what else Ford got, or no? Oh yeah, I also got like most of 2009 Bionicle sets. No, I meant. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. No. And Clenda. I didn't get any of that, but at least I got the reference. Yeah, I don't there know what's go. up with Ford. Honestly. We can show you the scene later. And yes. finally, Orion. I'm Orion, and my intros are short. Just, how just short like are they, Ryan? Yeah. Great! <laughs> you gotta tell us how short they are. Like Ford! I said it! Oh! That's a joke. That, that is pretty short. Ha ha, I haven't heard that one before. We know. Alright, today we've only got a bit of news to go over here. We're so the rest to... of the podcast is gonna be about Mojo Mojo. Moto Moto. Moto Moto. Moto. You don't so have nice enough Mojo in this dojo. Twice. We're going to be briefly discussing the new Mindstorm EV4 because I don't think any of us know anything about Mindstorm to so go in depth on it. I know hey, a little bit. I was in first Lego League for a while. I think Leo will the, be discussing the... it with Clinda <laughs> discussing it a little bit. I've used okay. Mindstorms. I was like, Rick at and least Morris, so I feel like I should understand it pretty well. And the new adult Mickey and Minnie set released. <laughs> <laughs> adult it sounds so like bad. That. It sounds that so It's a new part of the Lego adult line, 18 plus. Don't... <laughs> no, it's not that. Yes, it is! Oh, no. It's an adult no. line. It's an adult line. They're right. both topless. Lego adult. And oh, then yeah, finally, we will have the people who have seen anything about it briefly touch on the monkey kid. And I still need a screenshot from that show. I gave you one. No, you didn't. I gave you one. No, that's yes, I did. the Moto Moto. Oh, uh... that's not of the show. It's like of the commercial banner. We want like the real the raw the opening. Footage, you know. All right, picture. I'll just use this for. <laughs> Never mind. All right. Do <laughs> it. So uh, let's start off today by talking about Mindstorm EV3. Actually, this four. is EV4, I guess, or yeah. Generation Four. I don't know. They're calling it Robot Inventor. It's it ugly. Looks... Dang, I was gonna say How it looks good. Never mind. <laughs> I I, re I I retract my statement. Did I just change your opinion because I? No, I'm just not. Mm. Oh. All right. I I don't think it there's a pad of stickers in the bottom right corner. No, actually, I uh, don't like how the head looks. Oh. The head of uh. Well, the I could put something boy. about people's heads it. here that I. I like the the big boy's head. I like it. What? 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 <laughs> the the of the the big robot guy Ooh, in the center. No. Of the... Oh my! What, Leo? You can't okay. just say that. And... So y'all, y'all are familiar with the the drag and drop coding language that Mindstorms has used in the past, right? Yeah. yeah. No. Right. Oh. All right. Well, a few of you are. Th those of you who know it, those you know it. Those of you who don't look it up. <laughs> but there's there's a bit here in this paragraph. Uh, it says the app uses drag and drop coding language based on Scratch to support those getting into coding for the first time, as well mm -hmm. as Python for advanced coding. Ooh. Oh. That would have been nice. Oh, that's when fascinating. Actual language. Did EV3 actually, not have anything like so it's Python support? actual coding. Not yeah, just to, like, okay. Yeah, to my knowledge, it wasn't officially supportive of 
other North people North like North did North. like went beyond the original app. Yeah, though, didn't they? I, I know a lot of people did it, but this I time believe actually... that they had to do separate stuff to it to get it to do that. Though I don't yeah. actually yeah. know. You, but... you did. You actually had to like update the system to okay. like a different operating system to use well, Python cool, with it. Then. Now that they're integrating, what are, now that's... know all about this. All about which part? About like robotics or whatever. Yeah, we. We messed you, around with, I think, EV2 a lot. Uh, that was the generation I was born in. But mostly, I had one of those sets. It never coded like it did in shops. Like, oh, if you have, you're at a friend's house, you know, you know how to code it and everything. But then you take it home, mess with your own thing. It's never easy, ever. Period. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know Python, so I could code things. Now, yeah. I will say, it does have a lot of new teal elements. Someone like good. a group was very mad about them getting rid of teal to begin with, and they want to make sure that doesn't happen again. Uh, so I see. Teal? Does it say how much this set is? Or $350 whatever? US. I want it. Wait, where do, is, can I purchase it now? Um, yeah. It says 370 here. It does? Uh, 360 wait, here. Why is it all different here. for you guys? Hang on, here's the uh, link Why that I see. This, this might be the wrong one, though. Because it looks kind of cool. I'm not um, sure if it's out yet. Yeah, it's coming out in Q4. Oh, so like so, around Christmas. I love yeah. <laughs> Instead of saying quarter four, it just sounds cooler, you know, Q4. I like that. That's the that's wow. the name of I, it. I haven't <laughs> personally bought any of the Mindstorm stuff since they first came out with um, the the new, kind, kind of a new wave of it. Uh, EV2? Was that Never... EV2, Leo? I don't think so. They had this specific name uh, for it. It might actually have been the first one because I remember there's that and there's something 2.0 and then it came out with a uh, EV EV3 or something. This was EV1? That might have been EV1. I was messing with I... more. I don't know. That doesn't look like... I'm trying to remember. I mostly know EV1 from Brick by Bricks. I'm just trying to find... I know like EV from, you know, Wally, -E, but... Uh, that's about as far as my knowledge of this expands to. I thought it was Eva. Yeah, it was Eve. Two. Cause, okay, because that one. E. <laughs> Let me get a picture of this here. Yes. Okay, so it wasn't called EV one and two before. It was. Mm -hmm. uh, let me get you the, guys the picture first, but I want to post in the podcast first so people can see what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Come on. I was there like we are. Years old when I got my first Mindstorms. So I remember, yeah, the first one was the one that was like way more brick based. And then the yeah. middle one to me is like the most iconic one. Yeah, the middle mm -hmm. one is the one I started with. Mm -hmm. Same here. The third one is the one that I'm more used to using. But see, when I'm looking it's... it up here for EV1, it's using the same. NX2. Maybe because I need to look for NX1 instead. Yes. And, and that's right. My storm is NX2. That was I have first. nothing to contribute to this. I feel awful. That's another thing. thing. Like with, with EV4, we don't really get a good shot of like what that main... Yeah, we do. It's the head. What? It is the head? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. I thought it was it's integrated like... in the torso or something like that, or that robot. Nope. They've always had this. I presume that's where they're putting their little ultrasonic sensor, like in the, the past ones. That's uh, interesting. Because the first one, Mindstorm's NXT had the its its icon was the robot Alpha something. Mm -hmm. I said Alpha yeah. Trion. <laughs> wrong <laughs> robot. Yes, that wrong change robot. Into different. It had the sensor mounted on the like a head, so it looked like eyes. Then the second one, Mindstorm's NXT 2.0 had it built so it was more like a, a human looking head then then mindstorms eve eve 3 just went all punk and had a mohawk that was funny i like oh, it yeah. i uh, still think of ev3 as new yeah well, it's been since for a while how old is it 
like at least seven years. Seven years. I think it, yeah, like 2013, I think it came out. Yeah. That's kind of sad. But it's still, it's still. Well, like... I guess like, what was that other like robotics thing that they were trying to put towards kids? Boost. Uh, boost. Boost, that's it. I guess that didn't really work out, so they're like, all right. Well, no, Boost, they always said it was never supposed to replace Mindstorms. Yeah. Yeah, they said that about the the Switch and 3DS, too. It's not at all the same thing, because here, (laughs) Boost, obviously, it's exactly how they said that Boost is not replacing Mindstorms. Yeah, and the Switch isn't replacing the 3DS, right? Well, the 3DS is still in production. Is it? Anyway, it's not the same thing, because they're literally producing both Boost and... Mindstorm. Yes, this is true. Hmm. Alright. I don't think Lego has ever tried to pretend something's not cancelled. and something's cancelled, they come right out and put it in your face. As you do. I, I like the description of the, their android here. So it says, Blast! This masked robot is a stoic action hero. Whoa. It can fire or hammer its way through obstacles and grab items. I'm a big fan of Charlie, the quirky sidekick helper who can give out high fives, dance, play the drums, deliver small gifts, and quote Rick and Morty. (laughs) Is this a real description just with Rick and Morty? Yeah, uh, it's for... Yeah. You know, I'm sure if there's Python... Do Mindstorms normally have speakers on them? Yes. Yeah. You can totally yeah, make a robot that quotes Rick and Morty. Just then scream, tickle Rick whenever it like. <laughs> yeah, Ryan. You can something. like get a bunch of green Technic elements and then just shove this inside of them. Make him yeah. Lego tickle Rick. <laughs> Someone get on this. Someone has money. Well, why not Orion? <laughs> it's not. He's not just pickle Rick. He's Lego. He's Lego pickle Rick. You know, EV3 uh, will probably go on sale now. Mm, if it hasn't already. Or maybe it's just been gone for a while and we haven't noticed. Now, there was, like, an educational version that already had these parts, like, or released a while ago. And I forget where I saw that. I don't remember that. Just I mean, I had here. that one decided to take a course no. with this, so. Uh, yeah. I can't find it, yeah, but... There's a, apparently now, so that one will be marketed towards education. This one's going to be marketed towards the casual crowd. You know, the casual Mindstormies. Can we use Who the PS4 Mindstorm controller casual? to control the robot? <laughs> like, <laughs> seriously. Only, I'm sure you I, could. I have known people who do it, and only hardcore nerds do it. So if we want to show our status as hardcore nerds, and we control the Lego Pickle Rick, we'll use a PS4 controller. Okay. <laughs> Also, it has a new missile element that looks like the old missile element, but it is not. Hmm. So, all those missiles may become obsolete. Wait, where is this missile element? It's right on his hand. Right on his hand. All the stoic action hero's hand. Yeah, it's like, uh... It's kind of like from that that, uh, Lego series. What was it? The new Gionicle or something like that. It's, It's the Technic Competition Missile, as they call it. It's from Except trial. they're updating it now because now it has a brick housing instead of a Technic housing. Mm-hmm. Why? Is... This is a Technic figure. Well, you know, you got to use it in your Marvel sets, I guess. So the Marvel set's know. using this too? Yeah. Yeah. Well, crud. Yeah. Future is now, old man. Anyone mm-hmm. else have anything else to say about Mindstorms? I missed this aesthetic, but it's weird what the vision of a futuristic robot ha- now looks like as opposed to what it used to was. Everything's so clean and white. Yeah, everything's white now. We're just whitewashing everything. We need to stop. It, our future's going to look more like Camino. Camino yeah. no, is forget. actually very colorful. Yeah. if you It is? If Not you can blue. see ultraviolet. Yeah. Let me just... Take some more drugs. The ones are just very visit. much more advanced. They're like women. They can see more colors than we can. Wait, is that a thing? You know, it's a thing. 
<laughs> women are women capable of seeing more color? colors, like shades and colors than men. You're only saying that because of the dumb Twitter thread about the whole makeup looking the same thing. No, um, I don't even know what that is. Oh, all right, never mind. Who did that? No, it's just people are making fun of uh, of of guys for saying, "Oh, that shade of like foundation is is just the exact same as the other one," but in reality, it's actually just slightly different. No, scientifically, still... women can hear more sounds and see more colors. Oh, man, I can't believe women get to experience movies better than I do. Stop! That's okay. No. I agree. What would Martin Scorsese say to that? Um, burst into song. Women are the only people who can know cinema. <laughs> only women can watch Martin Scorsese's <laughs> films now. So that's how it's meant to be experienced, you know. We're the only ones who can watch it on our See, iPhones. Early on in his life, Martin Scorsese had his ears transplanted with that of a woman's. He cut off a so woman's he ears. Hear everything. So it's the brain, off. though, not the ears. <laughs> <laughs> Martin Scorsese. <laughs> He didn't realize that at the time. Yes. Yeah, so now, now he actually had the real operation and put the brain of a woman in his in his head and then transferred his consciousness over to it. And he can't really fix the ears Wait, problem though. That's um, just... What's the nerve that does hearing, or whatever? The 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 correct. It's like the correl correl. Whatever nerve knowledge. that is, I don't remember. I, my my anatomy is failing me here. All right, I I got an A in I, anatomy, I, guys. All right, my anatomy is failing for twenty twenty. <laughs> so wait, is that it for the mind sweepers? Mind sweepers. <laughs> yes. I meant, sorry, I meant the mind stormers. <laughs> We should combine Mindstorm, Minesweeper, and Minecraft. I'm sure you could do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. I don't know. All Can right. Talk about Adult Mickey. Yeah, let's talk about Adult Mickey. Oh, I have a man. link for that. I cannot find it anywhere. It's in the itinerary. No, it's not. You have my. Oh wait, it's below the. Okay. <laughs> Also, I don't know, Adult Mickey. That's kind of like all families, really. So, uh, how much is this going to go for? I'm kind of curious, because it does look very nice. I don't think we have a price yet. It wasn't supposed to be revealed until Monday, actually, but then Lego said, eh, you can just reveal it. Whoops! Yeah, It, it looks expensive. I don't like it. You don't like Why it? Why don't you really? like it? I like the Mind Stormers sets. <laughs> I don't like this. Why don't you like this? Because it looks just so janky. It has a tripod camera. Okay, well... It's I do cinema, like the tripod but... camera. It's got a book. It does have a book. If I wanted and a book, book I, would a look -a -look -a. I would purchase the Lego Ideas uh, book set thing. Uh, if I wanted a book. pop-up book? Pop -up book? Yeah. Yeah. But you can't even read that book. Well, maybe you can't <laughs> it was read a it. book... I'd re okay, well, what's your issue with Mickey? More colors, I can see the secret writing. I Imagine Mickey is standing outside your door. You see his angry face through the peephole. What do you tell him your issue is? <laughs> Wait, did I call? Like, is he like customer, like tech or something? Is that why he's there and I'm telling him my No, he's just ticked the... off. Why? Oh, and I'm. Well, first off, I mean, he's on my is property this an ASMR without phone? invite. So, I mean, that's one. Secondly, I mean, he's not supposed to be alive. He's a cartoon. So the fact that he's it's angry the and, he's, yeah. and he's outside of my house, that's terrifying. So, I mean, that would be a problem. And I also, like, he's barely wearing anything. Well, you know, no take shoes, this no shirt. He's wearing more than the average mouse does. The average mouse? The mouse. The average mouse, mouse? does not wear as much clothing as Mickey but, does. But the mouse, the average mouse has, like, way more fur than Mickey, right? Maybe his is just super sleek. Yeah, it, yeah uh, that black stuff I, is fur. I, okay, well, but I don't. Okay, the reason that I don't like the set though is actually the yellow shoes. Maybe that's how. What? It's, well, <laughs> the but it's their it, signature. It, but it clashes so much with the rest of like the the colors. But of that's these Legos. signature, man. I know, it works not better. Not clashing in, it works better in a cartoon than it works in a Lego set. It Are you saying it's the shaping of the shoes? And no, the way I, it like in, in the colors in like real life, like in like the Lego form, like that. I just it looks. I'm not huge on it. But it works just like ketchup and mustard. Yeah, I know, but it doesn't work with the Lego set. 
and it, I, I don't. They look like gangly and like uh, licoricey. I don't. I just don't it like it. Like that. I know, but it looks better in a cartoon than it does in a Lego set. So, all right, well, would you feel the same way? If okay, you... okay well, no, wait. Okay, here I take it back. If they were like shorter and stubbier, it would look better. They're too just like thin and tall. I feel like that's they're exactly too the... wiry. It doesn't feel right. They're not. They're like, not compact. They, like Mickey and Minnie work way better in the 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 Minnie's sailboat. Uh, Mickey's sailboat. <laughs> the uh, Minnie sailboat. Both their sailboat set. Like because they're you more stouter. Willy? I mean Willie's steamboat set. It's steamboat Willie. I, mean, I, I literally just said it. Steamboat's steamboat Willie set. Yes, <laughs> but it we're, they're stubbier there. It's just they look so gangly. It's kind of freakish actually. They look like a Dark Souls boss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll say that like they pull off the shoes better with Mickey than they do with Minnie. The, those heels yeah, the, just don't Minnie's work. Minnie's shoes are really I'm, bad. I'm kind especially that they have to like put a spacer on one of them. Like that's pretty poor. Oh yeah. Those platforms are on take a lot of pieces. Mm. Wait, how tall are these? We don't know. Not especially tall. <laughs> like that's the most terrifying part because this could be to scale. I don't like this. What is to scale? Is scale? Like what is Mickey's canonical height? I don't like six foot four or so something. If those are, <laughs> if that's two studs, how many? Um, how tall is a minifigure in terms of um, a four by four brick? About the height of a six he... stud brick. Oh, these are Titanic then. That's terrifying. I thought it was five studs tall. Or was it four? It's only about half the size of my arm, isn't it? Man, so, um, a mini arm. figure would be shorter than that. I book. googled how tall is Mickey Mouse. What comes up is Walt Disney, five foot ten. <laughs> so, let's just say he's five foot ten. <laughs> a man... <laughs> Let, uh, here's another one. Okay, if Walt Disney's five foot ten, Mickey's normally depicted as like coming up to Walt's waist. Okay. So like half his height. So three. Oh feet? yeah, yeah. Uh, let's look at the partner statue here. What two foot five? That's the canonical size. So he's of about. Who the heck painted it? Oh, wait, no. Two foot I get okay. Right. Um. So on the partner statue. Yeah, he's about half Walt's height. So he's about 35 inches tall. Maybe it is to scale. That's still terrifying. <laughs> I don't like it. Imagine this three foot tall mouse comes after you. With teeth. Ah. How often do you see Mickey depicted with teeth, though? Um... I mean, maybe in they Google do that one. Not only used to was my day. Does Mickey have teeth or Mickey Mouse with teeth? <laughs> and then if it looks terrible enough, please send it to me because I want to save it and use it as a reaction image. What? Wait, what? Sorry, I am very distracted here. Never mind. <laughs> I don't like him. I do not like adult Mickey. I wish we had child Mickey. I do, it's scary. Oh. It's, it's limber. You want to see something scary? <laughs> it's athletic. I remember that. I've seen this before. But uh oh, what's this gonna why be? Why is it to? not importing to the podcast? Freaking oh no! <laughs> Wait, let me take a look at this. Uh, oh no! That that looks like the uh, one of the enemies in Plants vs Zombies. <laughs> Did someone post it? <laughs> no. Oh, Clenda, Clenda posted, posted it. something. Yeah, it's not. Oh, yeah. that's not the Mickey I'm talking about. You just yeah, none know. of these are what I'm looking is for. Is yours more terrifying? I, don't think I hope so. Cause this I did it. Garfield. It's right here. Oh, found it. Just a moment. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's from Steamboat Willie, right? <laughs> oh, oh, why is this so hard? What the? I love cinema. Yeah. And then I wish we got like. Oh, I, I have I got HBO really Max for free hope. trial, and there's the, the Looney Tunes um, show, the, the cartoon show. And, like, I they probably don't have a lot of resources to work with, but the animation just does not compare at there all. There we go. The old Looney Tunes, like, at all. 
Oh uh, yes. Uh, no, I sent <laughs> this to you like I can't two see years that. ago. I know Damn. I've seen it before. Yeah, I, I sent you. It, I like. Oh, I can't I cheddar. Cheddar. <laughs> Father would not want you to do this, brother. Father, I'm oh rich. no! Don't do that. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, that's all spindly. You know, that's what that reminds me of. How I feel like, hang here. on, hang on. I gotta read this as another character. Father, I crave cheddar. Wait, what's this? Is that is that Carl Weezer? <laughs> <laughs> Was that Carl Weezer from Jimmy Neutron? <laughs> oh, my scapula. Okay, we're moving on. Are you going to finish that <laughs> cheddar? Are you going to finish that croissant? <laughs> Jimmy! <laughs> what? Jimmy's mom! <laughs> I'm so sorry. Let's get back to the set. I think the set is fine, and Mickey uses a new thing for the from the apple barrel piece to apple barrel. cuff his apple pants. Barrel. I don't know, oh. the tub, the whatever, oh, yeah. that you keep apples in in Lego okay. sets. It's in red here. I think it's originally cool. from Fabuland. I think it is. I have no idea also, how many I, I like is the made. Beel, the beel. I like the build for the ukulele. That's nice. This, but I wonder how close the arms are. I'm sorry, this is kind of random. <laughs> the Mickey with the violin. <laughs> it super reminds me of the devil went down to Georgia's song, but in this version, he challenges Mickey to a violinist duel for his soul. I feel like if Walt was still alive, he would have made that cartoon. Oh, wow. log versus uh, Mickey Mouse. And... The devil went down to Georgia. He was looking for a soul to steal. You know, the rest of the song, you know, he I don't know the Mickey song, Mouse. You don't know the song? No. We'll listen to it after That's the a good song. In addition to the Although the devil game. cheats, he doesn't even play the violin through most of his solo, and it's mostly electric guitar from fellow demons. Like, I mean, well, what, what obviously, do you think, what do you think happens when the devil he lost. plays the violin? That's what it sounds like. But but it's it's not at all like a real violin. It doesn't like it doesn't compare to Johnny's violin skills, which is obviously why Johnny won. <laughs> It's a so. fiddle, Orion. But you just the song cheated. is about I mean, a no, fiddler. I mean, I'm sorry, you said he had a. Ah, dang it. But anyway, he has a fiddle, whatever. Yeah, it doesn't sound like a fiddle. It sounds like an electric guitar through most of it, and then it's like a, then it's a fiddle. I keep thinking it's like violent. Like the music. greatest song a, a, a ever made team. tribute? Yeah, I was going to say. Right. That, they sound Plus, like the same song. Right. The point is that like... The, I wouldn't like be surprised if it's a parody. Why on earth would you have demons play an electric guitar for half of your solo course when you're trying to take a man's soul in a fiddle playing contest it doesn't make any sense yeah so. being new <laughs> angels nay we are but mice rock wait who was that that was just d tribute oh yeah that was bad let's just get back to the set so i'm trying to figure out what all the pieces are like the rounded corners for the camera are a new piece are they yes we have yeah, not had a piece cool. like that before. New Elementary kind of dives into some of this stuff. Like I said, what disturbed me is how many pieces the platform they stand on take and how it's going to inflate the price, set price by like $30 in itself. This is going to be at least $150, if well, I not mean, more. It is 18 plus. Would it you is for buy it adults. for so, 150 I don't think I like it enough. I usually like minifigure scale sets more. This is also a stark contrast. All the other Disney sets, except for the Steamboat Willie, have been four plus sets. So we've got the child sets, and of course we've got adult Mickey and Minnie. For real, man. Which actually well, soon I mean, they... didn't Winnie the Pooh pass ideas review? I, I think. So. think yes, so. it did. Well, that be an eighteen it. plus set? <laughs> Are like all the ideas sets going yeah. to go eighteen plus? That would be awkward. Yeah. I don't know how I would I feel. Know. Adult Winnie the Pooh. Huh. Oh, not Gore Pooh. Oh. <laughs> what if that he did come out with like the Winnie the Pooh set? It was just like the bloody Winnie the Pooh. The gore oh. Winnie the Pooh uh, drawings and stuff, yeah. 
Uh, when are we going to find out it. if Zelda... Probably. When are we going to find out that Zelda beat Bionicle, the set, in Ideas? Please. Please don't do that to me. <laughs> I mean, it's going to happen. Know. It could Prepare. happen. But we, oh, more than happen. one can win. Everyone wants yeah. the Futurama set to win. I don't know oh, why. You you really not that good. No. We should, we'll probably get those results this week, actually. Yeah, they said oh, it was going to yeah. be soon. That's coming up. I still it? don't know if Lego actually would do the biotic one. I'm not holding my breath over it. Uh huh. I just please. <laughs> I mean, from several perspectives, I think it would be a good move for Lego to make. <laughs> I'm sorry, but <laughs> we just found something for this uh, Winnie the Pooh. Well, what did you do? well oh. I googled oh, adult no. Winnie the Pooh. Oh no! Oh, please and... no. So, the main thing Please, I'm focusing God, on no. here, though, is I no. took a closer look at no. this picture that Kevin pointed out. And the feet. I should have said, asked you guys to figure out what's wrong with the image. Uh, uh... <laughs> Wait. What is that? Oh, oh no. <laughs> wait, which one? I just posted an image. Yeah, wait. Which image did you post? The costume. The one that's posted by me. My oh, image. so what's wrong with it? Yeah, can you find out what's wrong with it? Because I think you ignored what I said the before. The feet? Yes. The feet. The, the pose? No, no the not feet. the pose, the feet. <laughs> I mean, both of those things are wrong. Like, what is going on here? That's not even vaguely what his feet look like. See, that's not I actually like poo. That is a woozle in Pooh's skin, and it's going to try and steal Owl's real estate. <laughs> that went in none of the directions I had expected. Owl doesn't have real estate. He has stolen real estate. I know. Oh, yeah. What was the one where they, where, like, his house comes down and they take away Piglet's house yeah. for, like, no reason? That's awesome. <laughs> Wait, has anyone done that with, like, the communism <laughs> song? Like, Soviet anthem over it? Well, I mean, who is anti-communist, though? Yeah, Pooh's the only one that stood up. Darn, has no one made this meme? I guess we're I there has to be. I mean, it's the wide internet. There has to be. We'll have to look for it at some point. Because that would be, like, perfect for the song, you know? Mm-hmm. Remember, Eeyore's the true communist, though. Is that because he's depressed all the time? No, that's because he's the one that gave the house to Owl. Oh, yes. Then everyone Eeyore else just gave... goes along with it. Wait, Eeyore gave Piglet's house? I forgot about that. Yeah. How does that work? <laughs> he went and said Wouldn't... that the sign spelled Owl, so the Owl lives there now. Uh, <laughs> oh, dear. That's right. Oh, uh, how's, how's the line go? on it. Uh, something, something, something. That spells owl. That spells owl. But it's actually Trespassers Will's house. <laughs> Trespassers <laughs> will be shot. <laughs> <laughs> I feel oh, like there's so well. much meme material in Winnie the Pooh that has not been tapped. We should just like sync watch it and just make memes. Yeah, I mean, That's you are game. alone. It's just like full of. It's like potential. the most consistently good franchise that Disney's ever put out. Disney, Di okay. like mm -hmm. most of the franchise isn't even on Disney Plus yet. I know that's why I don't have Disney Plus. That's why I canceled. Yeah, <laughs> well, they do have Pooh's Disney Grand Boy Adventure. Yet. That's not uh, enough. I ordered and they have the new Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. They need the original. New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh is freaky. They need Did the original. Did anyone see that? No. There's like this um, whole thing where Rabbit leaves and then he goes into a toy store. Like the whole thing is basically Christopher Robin's room is like the portal between their world. <laughs> and then so Rabbit just gets depressed and decides to go sell himself into slavery at the toy store or something. But then all these other toys beat up Rabbit and take his special tag. Oh, you do know oh. that all of the that's characters the, are the toys, series right? where there's like there's the vacuum chase and they're all in the vacuum yeah or something? 
Yeah, like yeah the I where, like, vaguely remember that. <laughs> yeah, that's a really freaky episode, too, where they're, like, with Tigger, and they get trapped airing, under actually. Christopher Robin's bed, and there's all these monsters and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I, I got to watch some of that while it was airing, like, way back. Wow. I think it aired in the early 90s originally. No, well, they must have re-aired it. Cause yeah, they did rerun it. On, it. On, on, yeah, yeah, I watched it on TV. Rerun anything. Let me see when that was originally running. Yeah, the, in no, 1988. I, 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 that was the year I was born. Yeah, I remember watching it as an <laughs> What? No, it wasn't. You were not born 1988. Oh, no, 1990. Really? Yeah, I thought you said 98. Never mind. <laughs> All right, but back to Mickey and Minnie, adult. <laughs> <laughs> the adult Lego like like store. But yeah, I, I think there's some interesting pieces, but I probably won't buy the set itself because it'll be too much for what it is. Unless it's somehow under $100, then I'll probably buy it. You need to save that money for more than Ninjago sets. Well, I got my two or three uh, Ninjago monasteries in the mail today, so. Ooh, and, nice. And you have, you have every single Ninjago minifigure, right? Not quite. Close. Mm. I'm missing like under 10, and that's like everything. <laughs> He has them all until the next wave. Yes. That's a life of a collector. Of an ongoing That's franchise. That's why I'm fine if Ninjago gets cancelled. <laughs> it's like, all right, I've had my... F uh, it's like the, the Sid... Or no, the, the Andy meme from Toy Story. Like, I'm done playing with you. And he's like dropping the... <laughs> dropping Woody. But no, once it's cancelled, I can focus on building all the stuff that was never sets. All right. Like Captain Soto's version of the bounty. <laughs> How sure. many versions of the bounty am I going to buy then? <laughs> um, you need at least three then, right? There's the original if... bounty. There's the oh, dark wait, no. bounty. The destiny right. bounty. Final flight of the destiny bounty. The land bounty. The movie version bounty. The movie version bounty with thrusters. Hmm. I think that's this all. This sounds like a scheme to get people to buy more bounty sets. You don't say. It's almost like Lego is a toy. Hmm. It's almost like Lego is owned by Disney. Lego is for adults now. <laughs> yeah. It's an adult. adult Lego. Yeah. It's an adult oriented franchise. All right. Should we go into the final topic? The monkey kid. Series? All right. Next so week. apparently yesterday, as the time of this recording, uh, Malaysia aired the English uh, version of the first two episodes of Monkey Kid. It's not cinema. You haven't even watched it, have you? Yeah, I know. I'm prejudging it. All right. So I think I only I have watched it all the way through. You, I think you're the only one who watched it all the way through. I watched the first ten minutes or so. All right. What were your impressions? Um, Visually or in terms of storytelling? Yes. Uh, like both. All of it. Um, uh, visually, I'm... I initially did not like the animation style, but it's growing on me. Um, it's a very all-the-time, all-the-time way of storytelling, if that makes sense. How so? I well, like, it's very that. visually intense. Yeah. Like, it's very <laughs> emotive, which I think for the first era, for the beginning cutscene especially, where it's talking about, like, the backstory and stuff, that totally works. And that is totally how the actual legend goes. In really? terms of visual aesthetic, like in terms of story, okay. it's totally so the thing is that like he, oh, no. the Monkey it's... King has a fight with the Demon Bull King, and then he cuts off like the top half of a mountain, plops okay. it on top of the bull. That is totally that, wrong. Away that is completely wrong. Years. I have no idea what they're doing there. The uh, firstly, do you want me to talk about the actual myth or? Yes, please. So for for reference, um, and please bear in mind, I am a plebeian at best and i am going off of my own knowledge and i apologize if i say something wrong Mario my understanding Mario? is the demon bull king is very very minor and was terrorizing um monkey king's people before monkey king got most of his powers and he just beat him up there was no mountain involved the monkey king was defeated by having a mountain dropped on top of him oh. and sealed at the top hmm. this was only opened up by the um, special monk who basically had him as his servant for the journey to the west so the monkey king is like the first part of that story and he gets sealed and that's the end of his part of the story and then 
like the rest of the story is after he's been saved by this monk and he's basically controlled by the monk and is part of his D and D party, if you will. Hey, maybe we're getting the but, yeah. monkey. And thing. I don't think that the demon bull king ever came up again, except for um, Red Boy, where it briefly mentions, "Oh yeah, that's Red his dad." Red Boy. Which, since Boy. Uh, I think that Monkey King Red eventually Boy. made a treaty with the demon bull king, and so saw Red Boy as his nephew, and then tried negotiating with him, and then got beaten up, and then there was this whole thing, but they eventually Red got past him. Moral of the story is this is completely inaccurate in terms of the actual myth, but it's not bad in terms of like. But I the, thought they said it was supposed to be accurate. In when terms they... of the uh, um, a lot of the stuff that they show here is actually accurate. Like Monkey King did actually store his staff inside of his ear. He could change the size. Um, he did actually do the thing where he plucks off parts of his hair and they all turn into a duplicate of him. Uh, the scale of the power that they have in that segment is completely accurate where it's just like ludicrously over the top it looks like uh -huh. a thing out of dragon ball z dragon ball z is totally ripping off of monkey king by the way well yeah <laughs> but it was yeah initially set out that way. yeah but yeah point is that um the idea is they have the right idea mm -hmm. uh, and story-wise they completely reinvented it and that's not a bad thing in itself I'm just not really sure where they're going to go with it. And again, that's my own fault for not taking the 45 minutes to watch the whole thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it's worth it just to watch it all. Because um, basically, they, they, they basically spend most of the sets already that have yeah, been released. Yeah, the first two episodes. In just the first two episodes, yeah. Like mm -hmm. most of them, not all of them, most of them. Yeah. Um, like you see... The, the big ship you see the food truck the you even see the the monkey king mech at the end oh, wow um so it's like i don't really know how much further they could go without introducing more stuff to appeal to the whole you know because it's so visual um and that's another thing like the animation is an attack on the senses <laughs> it's just like <laughs> entirely too over the top like, I, I remember I was watching the opening, and it felt like I was getting, like, slapped in the face so hard my head was spinning around. <laughs> from what I had seen from the trailers, it reminds me a lot of, I think, I can't remember who who makes the show, but it reminds me a lot of, like, the animation from Kill la Kill or uh, Guran Lagan, almost, just how, like, yeah. kinetic it is. That's, yeah. Like, it moves so much, it's just, like, it's it's almost hard to look at at times. And it's, it's cool yeah, how it's, it's kind of rough looking it's, too. It's not super it does not polished. know how to slow down visually. Yeah, I, um, I think if they like slow slowed stuff. things down, like if they slowed things down and smoothed things out just a bit more, it could be better. I'll say yeah, that. Um, I will also mention I went through a little bit more and when he goes through the, I've got his whole autobiography right there, then all the stuff he mentions there is accurate. And they had a few nice references in there. I appreciate mm -hmm. that. Like they have the... Um, one of the, the gourds from one of his story and they have the one of the peaches that made him immortal mm -hmm. so that was that was a nice reference no one else cares about these things but i do so y'all i care about it if i'd read journey to the west if yeah, i was I'd chinese i'd care you know it seems like your kind of book i think it, it is like I'll, I'll get to it after i read romance of the three kingdoms okay is it free? Can I read it for free? If you want a bad Mon translation, probably. Hang on. Uh, um, Monkey King. I mean, I'll try, oh, well. try and find it eventually. I don't know. But I like it. There's some decent jokes that hit. That land, I guess. It's, it's not that much to write home about, though. Other than the animation is just like really just whack mm. so yeah that's that's our thoughts on on the monkey kid pilot mm. i suppose all right mm. then i don't know why every time something like this comes out too there's always a group of people like oh is this going to overtake ninjago ninjago's going oh, to be no. horrified ninjago should have no. done this I mean, I think the animation style 
is like really Better. good. It could be translated into Ninjago, but I don't think it should be used. I think it should just be well. It's too late. To it's, it's too late to do that to Ninjago the series yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Like if they were going to well, do that, I they should Ninjago try to do that. like this human style. But I don't know how far that went. It was awful. Okay, then there we go. Wait, the the Ninjago anime <laughs> mm -hmm. thing. You heard it here first, folks. But I heard I heard from a ton of people that it was like the best. Those stuff people ever. are plebeians. They're wrong. Yeah. Glenda, you saw it. It was like a wait, I saw what? Naglia. You saw the Ninjago anime. Ninjago what did you that, think but... of it? Uh, wait, which which part? Yes, Just the whole Overall. idea. Um, in terms, the part of the ninja. in terms of storytelling. Yes. Um, Just... I liked the worst. The worst ever? What was it? The absolute worst. I, I thought that that was entertaining because the purpose of the exaggerated anime type storytelling is anime is supposed to be extreme and um, exaggerated, and they oh, were using an exaggerated story. No, it's so I felt not. it was accurate. It's not. You could do uh, literally anything in anime. It's just a terrible stereotype that ruins. Going on with shows. the stereotype of anime being extreme. No, but that's not and what it was anime a good choice means. for that specific format. Given that they were riffing on Dragon Ball Z and similar anime, Dragon Ball Z isn't even like that extreme, even. Like, that's probably not, but it's the one most people think of. Um, the second episode, I didn't really get it the same way. Like, it didn't. It felt gratuitous, and I didn't real. It didn't did serve it, the story. Did it look good though? No, I not as I. Again, it didn't serve the story, so it didn't make as much sense visually. No, I mean, the whole as the whole, the whole Ninjago anime idea, did it look good? Um, because <laughs> I think I was talking to Deaton Ugly or something. He said it looked amazing or or something. Well, I had seen it, we, so we I know. didn't know what to say. We all He's know not exactly the bastion opinions. for good opinions. <laughs> What's that a oh, screenshot that from Macy? Who's like he has the worst takes known to man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and we can say this because good relationship. I just checked on Journey to the West, and there are 100 chapters. Excellent. I'll this appears tonight. to be the full. That doesn't tell me anything about the link because a chapter can be literally anything. I'm checking. I'm checking. Um. I so, read this book recently, and it's like one moment. Uh, 1,410 pages, pages on this specific one. But it's it's written in one stream of consciousness, so it's one sentence. And it's really interesting. It wasn't meant to be read as a single story. Huh, it was that, like a ton of different things. And there's like poetry mixed stuff. into it. Is that 1,000 pages for a chapter or for the, the book? I think for the whole thing, this might be abridged. I'm not sure. I haven't looked at too much of it, but like a bunch of it is uh, poetry. Perfect. It's okay, This is weird. Um. Okay, hang on. There we go. So I've, I've posted in the chat a abridged version of games? part of the story, and I've we got... We are not still doing games anymore. We are not doing a game. I think TV said we would do games at some point. Man, they just, this is like a Disney movie if Disney songs were poetry. It just, they randomly burst into poetry. <laughs> hey, so did Samson, you know? I, I mean, Yeah. He just kills 600 Philistines and he starts singing about how he did it. But yeah, I hope that this is um, accurate. But anyway, yeah, I. if anyone wants to learn more about it, then you have the stuff. All right. Well, I guess yeah. that's basically everything for today. Next we, we week, either we'll get the ideas, review results, or we'll talk about something else. Or let's die talk, trying. Let's talk about Mars mission next. We're week either going to see the Bionicle community very happy or <laughs> or as sad as they always out. are. <laughs> By the way, I want to shout out to uh, some people out there that particularly suck. Um, I just want to publicly uh, darn, what's the word I'm looking for? Denounce. Yeah, I want to publicly denounce. Shame. Just, um, who was on there? Callan. I want to Ooh. publicly denounce him, and was it also IDS and Larnu that were there? Yes. yes. I want to publicly denounce all of them. You guys are horribly immature people, and you do not deserve to have a platform where people listen to you if you're going to be like that. 
grow up. I should research this more. All <laughs> right. And with that, be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments Trump, below. How bad Donald Trump is. Tell them. <laughs> what? Oh, what? Right. No. Didn't ask Donald Trump. Do it. No. no. And leave your comments below. Join our Discord server. So and you can denounce us. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you're free to do that if you're annoying about it. We might ban you, but sure. <laughs> It's like self defense. If you denounce us, we have to, we can den we have the right to denounce back. That is true. True. Yeah. We're American. Not aggressive denouncing. <laughs> Wait, who am I supposed to be denouncing? Uh, no, you don't have to denounce we're den anyone. We're denouncing. Uh, we said people can denounce out. us, but then we get no. to denounce them. Mutual denouncing. Yeah, it's friendly, friendly denouncing. Liam, may I live stream myself reading against heresies by Saint Arrhenius on the channel? On you the on the second, second channel. channel. On the second the channel? Second yeah, you can do anything channel. you want there. We keep and telling you that, so you'll put stuff up, but no one ever does. Literally I'll put anything. stuff up. I'll consider it. <laughs> All right. So, once again, for Ford, Clenda, Leo, Malaris, Orion, and myself, OQ, we thank you for listening, and we'll see you on the next episode. Have a good one. Bye.